In this on-shape video, I'll be drawing a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin to be CNC plasma cut. First, I have a new on-shape document titled Pumpkin, and I'm going to click on Sketch, and create a sketch on the front plane, and switch over to the front view. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn off the visibility on the top right front plane, so I'm just drawing on my Sketch 1. The pumpkin has a maximum diameter of 8 inches and a minimum diameter of 4 inches. So I'm going to start by drawing a circle from the center. It's going to have a diameter of 4 inches. And then another circle that has a diameter of approximately 8 inches. And I'm going to use this button right here, Construction Keyboard Shortcut Q, to click on the line. Oops, still drawing a circle. Q, click on the line. To turn it into like a dashed construction line. So this isn't actually going to be a design that's going to get cut out. It just kind of gives me an overall size window to keep my pumpkin design in. First thing I'm going to draw for the pumpkin is the stem. It's going to be up on the top section. So I'm going to zoom in. You can press W and draw a selection box to kind of zoom into that area. I'm using a mouse with a scroll reel right now. So I'm going to use the spline tool. And I'm going to sketch the stem. Something about that. Double click to finish. Okay, remember if you don't like how it looks the first time, I can drag it. Notice this is a construction line. I need to change this back to a regular line. There we go. So these points can be manipulated. There we go. So that looks good. The bottom part of the stem, same thing, spline tool. It's just going to be kind of a shape like that. And it doesn't touch the top or the section of the stem. So leave some space between the endpoints right there. Escape spline. Okay, now for the actual pumpkin shape. A circle would be too symmetrical, too perfect. So I'm going to still use the spline tool. I'm going to go right here. And really important when doing this, hold down the shift button after you started your first point. That's going to disable all these snaps. See how it's snapping to all this stuff? Sometimes it gets really annoying. So I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to just kind of sketch around on the inside. I'm going to make my pumpkin a little bit wider, not like a full circle. And definitely remember, you can go back and make changes to all these Points. Don't try to get it perfect and obsess over it the first time. I'm just roughly kind of sketching and then left go is shift. So we do need to pick up that endpoint by not having shift held down. So we do want that snap right there. Double click. Okay, so I now have my overall pumpkin shape. I'm going to right click escape spline or press escape. And now I'm going to kind of modify the shape of this pumpkin just a little bit, whether you want to make it wider, make it a little different shaped. You know, we don't want a perfect symmetrical circle, just kind of a nice round pumpkin shape right there. Let me bring this end up a little bit. Okay, that looks great. And now for the face. So you can use kind of whatever tools you feel necessary whether you want to use the spline tool and do kind of the traditional eye, kind of a nice rounded look right there, or you want to do the line tool and do perfectly straight lines. Doesn't matter, whatever you choose. As far as the mouth, you can use the spline tool and do some type of Weird mouth, like that. 
You can also, let me undo, use the arc tool and do a little more of a symmetrical type smiley face or frowny face, whatever you want. To add teeth, spline tool, if you want kind of a little more of a organic shape. Or the line tool, if you want to go nice and straight. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. That one, I'm going to use the line tool for my teeth. So line tool, I'm clicking there, clicking there, there, and then double click to finish. Remember, you can still drag these around a little bit. Looks like this got snapped to a straight line. I don't like that perfectly vertical straight line. I'm going to delete that line segment and then draw one at an angle. Teeth for the bottom. Okay, so there's the mouth. We do need to do some trimming right here. So we're going to grab the trim tool, the scissors, keyboard shortcut M, and we need to trim the top sections of the teeth. Okay, so there's that. So that's basically the kind of minimum design requirements. If you want to get a little more detail, you can do some single line cuts like that and maybe do some of the like the grooves that are on the pumpkin if you choose not necessary don't go overboard and crazy doing this but you can add a little more detail if you choose I'm going to go ahead and actually delete those. I'm going to keep mine a little more of a plain silhouette. I'll leave those. Okay, and then to kind of check, make sure you don't have any gaps and your design is ready to kind of be plasma cut. I'm going to go ahead and hit the extrude button cover over it, get the gray so I can see I now have a kind of a solid shape to my pumpkin. And then the thickness is going to be 0 0.03. Thin sheet metal, green check mark. It looks like that didn't work. We got a red extrude arrow. Let me delete that and try again, go back into the sketch. Extrude. There we go. I just needed to hover a little bit. Didn't quite pick it up the first time. Don't know, really know why. 0 0.03 for the thickness. Notice the extrusion doesn't show the detailed lines. They're kind of hidden. If I turn the sketch on, I can now see them. So what you're going to submit will be a screenshot of this. You got the three dots in the upper right hand corner, more tools, and then on your Chromebook, it should say take screenshot. I don't have that on this computer, but that should work. And then you'll upload a DXF. To do that, you're going to right click or two finger tap on sketch one, export as a DXF DWG. I'm gonna call it 
pumpkin, and then your name, and then period. And you can leave it as a DWG 2000, and then you'll export that, and that will be uploaded to be cut on the CNC plasma cutter. Thanks for watching.